Now let's talk about the customization. So firstly we'll be customization, customizing a button. So in Android what we can do is you can control exactly and not necessarily the, but it depends on whether you have a Twitter account or not and similarly the privacy settings that you have set up onto your Twitter account. That's correct, only the recent tweets. So I was telling you about how you can exactly control how your controls are styled using a theme that applies to your entire application. But if you want to truly redefine the appearance of your button, you can specify a custom background. So let's talk about it. So whenever I have to use it, you might have used many applications wherein what happens is once you click on a button, it shows up differently. Once you click back again, it shows up differently. So how is that achieved in Android applications? I'm going to tell you about this. So here if I say click, you can see the button got changed. Can you all see that? So how will we be doing about it? Let me just show you an example for this. So here my custom button extends the activity. If I go on to the set content view here, you can see I have a linear layout, under that I have a button. If I go on to the graphical representation for this, you can see a button has a background. Can you all just see this? Can anybody make some cues out of it what exactly this background behavior is depicting here? Can anybody tell me about this? Sandeep says hover effect is the Devda, is the answer that Devdas Devdas gives to me. Here you can see I have a property which says Android background and here I'm passing on some value to this particular thing. What exactly is this value doing? All right. That's correct. Devdas has got it correct. It's the change. So if I go on to add the date drawable here and show you what exactly this contains, you can see this contains a selector file. All right. So what I mean by a selector file is sometimes what happens is I need to have, suppose I press on the button, I need to have a different drawable to be shown. And similarly, if I press it back, I have to need to have a different drawable to be shown. So whenever such a scenario is appealing to me, what I need to do is I need to create a selector file. So how will I go about creating a selector file? Go on to resources, go on to drawable, go on to new, go on to new Android XML file. Here you can just type the name of the file and select a selector. All right, And click on next and just create your file. Once you create your file, you'll be getting a selector file like this minus these elements, all right? Then add up these elements. Here you can see a drawable, all right? If I just show you a drawable here, this is the drawable that I have, and, all right? And this is the drawable that I have when my button gets pressed. Similarly, I have another drawable which is not associated with any of the events and you can see this. So what, what I'm trying to depict here is this drawable applies to all irrespective of whether the button gets pressed or not. But whenever a button gets pressed, I'll be using this drawable for it. It's like very much like a customization of the button that I'm giving it to. And what I'm doing is I'm just doing setting up my background to this particular drawable or the selector file in order to do that. If I click here, it get changed. How can you keep the button pressed, uh, Devdutt? All right, it's more so that whenever the button is pressed, I'll be using a drawable. If the button is not pressed, I would use the similar drawable.
So here is the application. Now what do you want me to do here, Devdutt? So that is how it works up. All right. So any person having any understanding issues in creating selectors, how you will be using selectors in your button background, any person having any doubts here, you can respond back onto the chat window. All right. There is no coding part around here. It's just the button that I have, and I have associated a click listener onto the button. There's no coding part at all here. That's correct, Dev. That the default layout for the for any button, or say, I would say, the default button that you use in any of the Android applications is the grayed out one. No, it's not a layout, uh, Devdutt. It's more so a default, I would say, the default selector for that button. It's more so a default button. Here, Shalini has asked me a question. Instead of using the images in Royable, can we customize the shape of the button? In order to do that, Shalini, what we need to do is we need to use image buttons instead of the buttons. When you will be using image buttons, you will be having the various gradient effects that you that are available to you in the image buttons as in properties. All right, so that is where you can do that. Here is the main dot XML arrow. Right, so any person having any doubts in this custom button example, you can respond back onto the chat window. So should I assume that everything is clear till this point of time? All right, I have got a hand raised. Check who it is. Yes, Sujay, you can speak now. Hello, sir. Yeah. I'm Sujay, I want to know that if I click on the button for one time, the value mm -hmm. of the button is uh, true for uh, for the uh, for long time till uh, I click on the uh, button again. Mm -hmm. I want to know that if I click on a button, then the value of the button is true. Is it okay. applicable for this button? Sujay, can you come again with the question here? Uh, I, I just could not understand uh, anything here. I, I, um, uh, I'll give you an example, sir. If, if, uh, please uh, uh, imagine it, it is a play or pause button. When I'm okay. clicking, on, clicking on it, then mm -hmm. a song is playing continuously on the player. And when I'm okay. clicking on it, then it will be pause. Okay. Okay. So I want to know that if I click on the button at the state when it is pause, then it will be play the song. Correct. Correct. Okay. Then then it is true for a long time till the uh, button is clicked again. I'll tell you for this kind of an implementation wherein you want to have a uh, say pause and play implementation, Sujay. What needs to be done is you'll be operating upon the same button. All right. Here you won't be using the selector. What you'll be doing is suppose the button gets selected that you just clicked on the button. All right. You change the text of the button for from say 
I would say pause to play. If I use a uh, image like playing a uh, icon, playing logo, or pausing logo, for that, then in that case, Sujay, what you need to do is you need to have the checks. Like, suppose you have clicked on play. All right, you need to read the text. So, for example, you need to read the background. For example, if I I would say say it like that. Suppose I'm having a button. I'll just show you with the help of paint here. Suppose this is the button that I have, all right? Yes. And presently it is holding a drawable, which is different. So if I say here like this, this is my play button, this is my pause button. The one on the bottom is my pause button, all right? Yes. Yes. I have a different drawable. So here I say button dot get me with the background drawable, all right? And if it says is equal to r dot drawable dot play, for example. All right. So whenever this particular touch thing happens, I'll be changing this to a pause button. Similarly, I say if my background drawable is play, is pause. Sorry, is in this case, if my background drawable is pause, if I click on this button and I check that my background drawable is pause, so I can just click make it a play button. So that way, that way you have to check it up before applying the click behavior. So you you say you press the button. You press the button. You found out what button it was. So change it to the next button. I hope you got got my point here. I have got it, but uh, there is some problem. How to do it, sir? Uh, by using the selector function or by using anything else? It's very much like uh, whenever you'll be having the button on click listener. All right. Yes. Sir. You'll be having a button on click listener. If you give me a coding example, then it will be more better for me, sir. Small example. So, give me a small, very suppose, small example. Sir. Suppose this is the button that I have here. All right. So this particular method, what this will do to me is it will return me the background. I'll check whether this background is equal to r dot. I would say. It will return me a drawable object. All right, so I'll check whether this drawable object r dot. I say here I just get the drawable from the button and I check for the drawable whether this drawable equals to for example say play button so what I'll do here is I'll say button dot set background and I can just set the background I just chose the wrong one and here I can set the background drawable. For example, if I wanted to have a drawable like button, button two, minute will be two. That's correct. For example, button two. All right. Let me just do it for you. I'll use the background resource here, and I say r dot drawable dot button two. All right. So what I'm doing here is on the on click. First, I get the drawable. What exactly is the drawable that is contained in the to the button? Check for the drawable whether this drawable equals to button one. Then I can just set it to some other button. So in this case, I won't be using a selector. All right. Okay. So that is how it will be done. All right. Anything else, Sujay, that you want to ask? Okay. Thanks, Sujay. 
All right, so let me just quickly go on to Deep Dutt's question here. So then we have covered custom button toast. Can you show custom spinner, please? Sir, I can't read text from the but I can't I read text onto the button? Yes, sir, Naman, we can always read the text from the button. We can just have it button dot get text properly. That's correct, Dave. That, that is what I meant here, and I have already shown you that. I use the IDs for it, Dave. That so I think every but every but every question of yours has been answered here. Is that correct, Dave? That. All right. So now let's talk about customization of the various widgets.